Twelve years ago, women working for Glasgow City Council were promised equal pay with men. In October 2018, after years of waiting, they went out on strike with a massive demonstration that made international headlines and was shown on the news across the world. Still, 12 years later, they were being paid £3 an hour less than men doing equivalent jobs. These women were mainly care workers. As the placard I showed at the beginning says, they care for our old parents, they care for our children, they act as teaching assistants, they feed our kids at school. And how much did they earn for this? The women on strike were mainly earning in the range 16,000 to 18,000 a year. That's to say they were getting between the minimum wage, 775, and 885 a year. Uh, an hour. And when you looked at them, it was very evident that it was mainly older women that were in this situation, being paid these rates and doing these jobs. Why was that? Well, basically, no young woman with preschool children could possibly afford childcare at the rate that they were being paid. In the UK, Child care has been largely privatised. There are some council nurseries, but a lot of people have to rely on private nurseries. There's no guarantee of a place in a council one. Child care fees vary widely across the country. In London, they're, they're up to £6.50 an hour per child. In Glasgow, they're just over £5 an hour per child. Could a woman working for Glasgow City Council as a care worker afford this? With one child at a nursery, she would effectively be working for a take-home rate after childcare of £2.60 an hour. If she had two children, it would actually be costing, us two, costing her £2.45 an hour to go to work for the council. So why is the care so expensive? Basically because it's privatised. A nursery can have three children under two years for each member of care staff. So for each care worker they employ a Glasgow private nursery charging £5.10 an hour will be bringing in £15.30 an hour in fees. Given that they just pay their care workers a minimum wage, they'll be making a surplus on wages of 7.55 an hour. They do have to meet some mix, fixed costs after that, but this is typical for the UK. Workers get about half the value created. But it's obviously a benefit to society if a child is looked over and looked after in a nursery, where it takes only a third of a person's time versus being looked after at home tying the parent, usually the mother, up full time. So there's a saving to society in this case. There is work made available to do general social tasks. The parent is able to contribute to society and to earn. But as women's wages are so low that they can't afford the care because of the cost of care is marked up by the profit motive, then this doesn't happen. It can't happen. And who loses out? Since women are already being paid less, and since childcare is so expensive, it makes sense in a family 
for it to be the woman that stays at home, not the father. But then women are, are not seen as the main earners. So it gives employers, like Glasgow City Council, another excuse to pay them less than they pay men. And this is what we've been seeing in Glasgow City Council. The male workers doing similar jobs are paid more. So the women are losing out two ways. Firstly, by not being able to work, and secondly, by being paid less. And how can this be changed? Well, the unions are quite right to de demanding as a first objective equal pay rates for men and women. But unless this is backed up by making childcare free for all families, so that it's paid for out of taxes run, paid, run as a private business, without having that second objective, the basic excuse that the employers are using to pay less to women, that it's only a secondary job for them, isn't removed. Now, socialist governments in the past have done it. There was assistance for children, for single parents, ample options of care for preschoolers and kindergartners. School-aged children had post-school care family-oriented education, training and counselling, basic and post-basic training specifically for women. Through housing policy, families receive support such as rent, subsidies and priority housing assignments, interest-free marriage loans, basic scholarships for married students, moderation of working hours for employed mothers and fathers, raising a child alone, and further measures to support families of single parents. All of these. Now, where was that? That was East Germany. Uh, n never done in Britain. Socialist governments have done this. No British government has done it.